everybody, it's Anna. Welcome to the Thursday card in this week's tarot story. So today we have our only major arcana card this week. So the major arcana cards carry life lessons. And this one is the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So the lesson of the Wheel of Fortune is that the universe is constantly moving and changing. And, and it's really not personal to you. <laughs> so this idea that you're not really being punished, you're not really being rewarded. The universe has its own sort of patterns. And sometimes those are patterns we like, and sometimes they're patterns we don't like. So the Wheel of Fortune reminds us to, to live in a way that's non-attached, which is to say, like, you know, good things come, good things go. Bad things come, bad things go. Like everything is constantly moving. So don't fight with it. Try to learn to find your place in the rhythm of the universe. When things come our way that we love and we appreciate, then you just enjoy them. Enjoy them fully knowing that they're not going to stay. You're not going to cling to them because that creates suffering. Um, and the, on the other way, on the other hand, if things come to you, you don't want, you don't want to fight with them, push them away because there's your, your soul is clever enough to find blessing in every circumstance. If you can relax and let this uncomfortable thing come in, it will, you'll be able to, to, to kind of mine it for a blessing, right? So when the card is upright, it often suggests that we feel like things are going our way, right? The world's, you know, the world's moving on our behalf and the timing is good. When it's, when it's reversed, it often feels like maybe something's working against us. And um, although, again, we're saying this is a non-personal movement of the universe, it's not really against us. It's just not aligning with what we, we would prefer. <laughs> Right? We want to be careful with our words. The Wheel of Fortune really is a teaching for the mind. So we want the mind to not think about it as personal. Oh, it's working against me, like I just said. We want to say, it's not matching what I want. So I think that this happens sometimes when we are, we're ready to do something and it seems like we're struggling, like the path is not opening up to us. We're kind of hitting some barriers. This has come up a lot this past um, week with some of my clients, this idea of, yeah, I feel like I want to start something, but I can't quite get it started. And learning how to say, maybe that that pushback is actually a suggestion that the timing is not quite right for this. So the gift of the reverse wheel of fortune is the gift of the pause, learning to wait until the path opens up for you. Because our our intuition is deeply connected to the universe, right? It, they're, they're, they're intimately connected, which means the intuition does know how to work in concert with the universe. The universe may not be changing its path for us, but we know how to navigate the universe, right? So the intuition, even if it has an idea or, or, or a, an, an inspiration, it will likely, almost always, <laughs> I will say likely, uh, it will likely find the path of least resistance, the greatest ease. If we're not finding that path, then the timing's not right. And we learn how to be patient, which is its own gift. I talked yesterday about the seven of swords reversed and how the mind will sometimes want to be busy when there's nothing to do. And we want to help the mind learn that when you're not actively moving, you're not wasting time. You're taking your turn. It's my turn to move. It's the universe's time to move, right? And at some point, the universe is going to click into place in such a way that this path opens and it's going to be so much easier. It's going to open up the right direction. We're not going to waste energy and effort trying to make something happen. It's going to be working in resonance. And that learning how to wait for that resonance is a big gift to the mind. That's the mind mastering itself, mastering its own anxiety and learning how to partner well with the into into the with the intuition but also with the universe itself. So I think that we're in the middle of a tarot story that's about we're starting something new and we're likely in a position of waiting right now. We planted a seed in some and it's germinating. There's nothing to do right now. So yeah, the paths aren't opening up just yet because the seed was planted in such a way as that it will manifest at the right time. And then that will be the time that the universe is also matching us, right? So, so helping the mind once again, learn that the universe is not working against us. We don't have to fight the universe. We don't have to push past this. Instead, we can trust this. We can learn how to, yes, it's disappointing and it's frustrating when you want to get moving, you feel restless to get moving, but you know, we have to learn how to master that energy as well. Actually, tomorrow's card talks a lot about that as well. The idea of sort of understanding that energy comes up is because we're excited and we're interested. But just because we have energy available doesn't mean we want to use it to like create resistance and to fight with something. We want to use the energy to do cool work in the world. If we're too busy fighting and pushing, we're, we're burning up a lot of energy that way. This is a more efficient thing to do. It's more efficient <laughs> to wait until the path opens up, to trust the path, 
to wait till it opens up. It's more efficient and it creates a better experience of partnership between the mind and the intuition, which is also the universe. So that's our today's card. See you tomorrow for our final one. Bye.